Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna take a look at another rank one in the world team, which we I think already showcased last season, where this person Petoman also got rank one in the world with us. So yeah, definitely it seems to be a very good team here. It's still going to have some issues, at least for me, while I try to play this one. Um, we played this uh, this gameplay here basically while I was in London, which means I have a lot of lag issues, which I don't know why this really happens. I still have some right now as well. Um, at my place. I don't know if there's something with the new version or whatever. Let me know in the comment section if that's the same for you. But before I went to London, everything was fine. Also with my new phone, everything was fine. But since I'm back, basically I have a lot of lag issues here. And also while I was there, I have some lag issues. A lot of reasons, a lot of things that are not really how it's supposed to go. I don't know if it's just Niantic being Niantic or what is going on here. Also, what's going on here? We're going to see another grass holder here. That's also something I don't really want to see as you're going to see the victory bell. Going to have to invest two shields here against us, which is going to make this definitely an awkward one for us as we're going to have to try to spark them down maybe? I actually don't know what we're going to do here. Leaf Tornado going to be awkward as they're going to get the debuff as well. That's going to be such a tough one to still win. Of course, meta is going to be different. I'm currently around like 2500 elo range. I don't really try hard too much, especially with all the lag that I have recently. I actually climbed a little bit recently as well with the newer teams that are coming up. I had great success with all the teams that are coming up in the next few days. Um, so this one going to be a very close one, we, even though we got the double debuff, we're still going to be able to win this game here, thanks to a lantern being one of the, if not basically the best Pokemon in the current meta. Honestly, if I would have to choose, I think I would say lantern is currently the best Pokemon that you can use in the current meta. Um, especially, the main reason for this as well is that Ninetales is around. Ninetales plus Lantern is a very good core, as we also have it on our own team actually, which I just realized, I didn't even no uh, notice that so far. But uh, Ninetales covers basically all the weaknesses Lantern have, especially like something like Grass Weakness, and only really one Grass type is available that is really good right now, which is the Trevenant, which you might think, but there's coming up a video soon about a different grass type, which is actually way underrated than you might expect there. Had a great time with that one as well. We are stole a team from my brother, but we're going to find that out later on on this channel, maybe tomorrow, we have to see. But yeah, Trevenant is basically the main grass type that you're going to encounter here while my opponent catches a move perfectly here onto their Noctowl. I can just get my energy back and swap out here. But um, the thing is, of course, otherwise, there is not really a good answer for the Lantern. There would be still Dragon-type Pokemon, which is currently a trend that goes up a little bit higher as well again. But again, the Alola Ninetales is a perfect fit for the Lantern, as it's going to be able to destroy all the Dragon-type Pokemon. So, a little bit tricky sometimes to use Dragon-type Pokemon in the current meta. But here we're going to see now the mini champ going to have to shield up something. We got go, we can go for the surf here, trying to get the shields, and we can try to get to another surf here. And with a one HP in a dream, we're going to be able to get there in time. Here you see where IVs are matter because now we're going to be able to just go ahead, shield out the move here, and we should be fine here, right? Ice punch coming through, and we can go for the sky attack. Yes, we can knock out the opponent, and it's going to be a very good game. Let's take a look at the next game coming up. We're going to see Lantern against Pelipper. Very decent lead for us, of course. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to see the big issue for me, at least for this team. This is the movesets as well for all the Pokemon that they run. They ran a Spark version of Lantern, they ran Powder Snow version of the Ninetales, um, and you're going to see a big issue against Glaring Stunfisk. I actually have no idea how you play this team out. If you watch this video, definitely, um, like, Petaman, if you know how to play this all out, like, let me know in the comment section here. I'm going to catch the move onto my Ninetales, which was maybe, like, why did I even do this? I guess I wanted to farm them down, which works out better like this, but honestly, this does not really seem to be the smallest idea either don't really know what I'm doing here, to be fair. Um, it's a little bit tricky, I would say. But otherwise, also, if uh, Pedroman is watching here, maybe he can send me some battles as well next time he tries to reach rank 1 on the leaderboards with his team. But um, yeah, we're going to see here that this Pelipper now going to align against our Pokemon that we don't really want to have it against. And we're going to be able to catch a move here. It's going to be the Hurricane as well. But we're going to encounter a Reggie Steel in the back. So this will have been an awkward one anyway. Reggie Steel and General Steel type seems to be a little bit of a problem for this team. We're just going to go straight serve because um, I want to go for my charge moves before they can potentially debuff me. And they know that as well. So they're going to shield up the moves as well. 
So we're going to see the Zap Cannon coming through and of course they don't get the debuff. Very lucky for me, but I'm going to go ahead go for another Surf because I feel like this is my only player winning this game. I'm going to swap out now, can go for the Shadow Ball, forcing the opponent to throw a charge move here as well eventually. Because we are basically, yeah, we're basically going to chunk them down to the Surf range. And that's basically what I tried to get here anyway. Try to put them into Surf range where I can just go ahead and knock them out with that one. And hopefully we will be able to still deal with the Pelipper now, which should be pretty fine because it's a very good matchup for us. They have 1 HP and they still get to a Weather Wall literally with the last one there and they're going to be able to knock me out. Don't know, Galarian Stunfisk was really an issue for this team and I really felt this a lot. This is also going to be an issue with the Deoxys against us. I have to kind of swap out here because if my... Um, Especially against the Oxus, if my Lantern dies, I have no answer for a potential, um, what's called Bastion. And the Oxus together with Bastion is a very common core, so I can have to swap out here eventually. I'm going to use two shields against the opponent, going to be another rock side coming through to my way. I can try to get the next charge move up here in time, I'm going to be a weather ball. They're going to let this move go through, getting me basically into a position where I can go for another weather ball. And this, letting them decide if they want to give me the switch advantage, which they want to. I actually make a huge mistake here. I didn't expect myself to get to the Dazzling Beam there, so I went for the um, Weather Ball there. My own mistake there for sure. I could have definitely went for the huge nuke and just knocked them out straight away. But we're going to be able to now hardwall the opponent anyway, as this Noctowl will not have the greatest time against our Lantern. They can go for still for one Shadow Ball. We can go for our own Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt actually does not knock out the opponent's Lantern here from this range, as far as I know. And we're going to at least get them into farm number range. They're still going to be able to get to another charge move though. And this will be another Shadow Ball. Gonna get us low, but they can go ahead and go straight for their own charge move. Putting us into a range where we hopefully just going to be able to farm them all the way down. Because I don't really want to throw a charge move against them. And I think we are fine here. For a power gem coming through, they're not even purified. And we'll be able to still knock them out. Actually, something that I would love to do is just build another Sableye and get rid of the return and go for the power gem instead. Like imagine you're running uh, like you're running up against something like the purified Sableye and you're still going to get power gem because the opponent just decided to troll you with that. I feel like that would have been such a cool play. Um, but again, it's most likely not going to be the smartest play either. Maybe it would be something for tournaments, would be kind of funny to like, like against especially something like Noctowl or whatever, and people just don't really expect it. That would be a cool play. It's, it's, I think Return is a little bit more expensive than Power Gem as well, so maybe that's something that we can maybe see in the future. It would be a funny one to do. For, but of course, this would be um, after the first like matchup you're going to have against them, the opponent would know about that. So it's definitely something that is a little bit more difficult to hide at tournaments. But for this, I feel like it's a cool idea to do stuff like this. Return is, I think, 70 energy. And I think Power Gem is 64? Is it 60? It's 60. Okay, it's 60 energy. So you can actually get there one fast move early, I think, as well. So you can definitely get some maybe 90s or whatever off guard with that. That would be kind of a funny idea. But yeah, here we're going to see the Bastion against us again. I hate Bastion and I hate Lickitung and it's going to be a loss anyway. Um, basically the most bulkiest Pokemon in the world. We're going to see a Noctowl again, which is going to be in to our lead. Noctowl is a very good Pokemon for us to face because we have two Pokemon that completely destroy this one. As we have also our own Noctowl, which of course has a very neutral matchup. We're going to be able to farm them all the way down here if we want to, but maybe actually throw here and I'm going to throw here because I don't really want to get hit by another charge move, allowing us to win this first matchup I thought with like more health, but no. I'm going to shield up the move from the opponent as well now and I can just farm them down. I don't really want to get that low because as expected, they're going to be very weak against Lantern, which is very nice for us because they went into the Azumarill now. I kind of shows that they're going to be very weak against us. I decide to sh let this move go through, which is not the smartest idea, but I still get to another charge move, which would knock out the opponent. Let's see what they want to do here. They're going to let this move go through, and we're going to see another Azumarill basically in the back here with the Tapu Fini. Same typing, different fast move, still doing a lot of damage with the fast move of Water Gun here. Going to be able to just go ahead and go for a Sky Attack and get them low. And I can let this move go through here, it's going to be a Moonblast, I still get to my Sky Attack, and this time we're going to be able to win this game. As we can go ahead, go into our Nine Tails, we can just go ahead for one Weather Ball, and my opponent knows it as well, we had the shield still in the back as well, so it's going to be a pretty easy one. 
Next important again, you see me most likely swapping out here because I am a little bit scared. I'm actually going to stay in here, of course. Like, why would I do what I said I would do? Because, okay, the, those battles are basically like half a week ago or something, so I don't really remember them at all. I will be able at least to go and get some damage on the opponent, I guess, because last time it didn't really work out that well as I'm staying in here. We now know that they have Thunderbolt as well, like we do, and we can go for our own Thunderbolt here as well, which is going to do some decent damage. They're going to go ahead, go for the Psycho Boost here for sure. Going to let this move go through, I can swap out immediately and try to get some energy adventure with my Ninetales. We're going to see a Surfetch coming through here, which is going to be a little bit awkward. As we're going to have to shield up this move, I guess. It's going to be a Leaf Blade from the opponent, but we can go ahead and go for two more charge moves against them as well. But at this point of time, they're going to get us into a range where they can farm us down if they want to. So this is going to be a little bit of an awkward one. But I think, actually, no, they have to. do they have to throw? They do not have to throw. I think if we had better IV spread, which I would actually have one that I could build, it would have been better off. But yeah, at least we're still going to be able to catch a move from the opponent. Going to be the Night Slash coming through against our Lantern. Of course, my opponent going to get the boost from that, basically forcing us to shield another charge move from the opponent. We see the Obstagoon coming in, and there's going to be a very close matchup now. We have the energy lead, we have most likely the better bulkier Pokemon, but it's still going to be a little bit awkward because the Night Slash is going to do some decent damage. Who is winning this matchup here? I'm going to go ahead and go for the Sky Attack here again. Luckily, they didn't boost with that Night Slash here, and this will allow us to win this game. But honestly, if they didn't boost up there, that would have been such an easy game, but they did, of course, boost up. And for whatever reason, I'm facing 20 Deoxys defense in the lead. I don't know. I honestly like don't know why, where they're coming from and how they're coming from. Uh, very difficult for this team to face, but honestly, I've played a lot more games now in the Open Great League again, and I didn't see that many of them. Like, honestly, I didn't really see at all any of, of them at all there, but you are still going to be able to go for another Weather Ball, gonna get the shield, and we can go for another Weather Ball, gonna get the next shield as well, most likely here. Let's see, they're going to double shield against us, and we can let this move quite through here. Okay, luckily we do, and we're going to see the Psycho Boost coming through, allowing us to go into our Lantern, trying to farm up extra. But we're going to see now the Umbreon coming through. We're going to go for one Thunderbolt, trying to do some chip damage against the opponent, and trying to catch the next charge move onto our Noctowl. Both of our Pokemon basically have the same bulk here, so we're going to be able to just go into our Noctowl, and we're just going to go for the Sky Attacks, which should do a little bit more damage than the damage output that I can do with my um, Lantern here. But I will be able to just go ahead, go for another Sky Attack afterwards, but look how spammy and bulky the Armorion still is. We can go for another Sky Attack here. This will do some decent damage, and we will still be able to go for another one here before they can go and knock me out. Because we've thrown the CMP tie, we will be able to always win CMP against an Umbreon. Deoxys comes in, Deoxys goes out again. Let's see who's in the back there. Can we still have a chance here? I'm going to swap out immediately, and it's going to be the hardest war possible. Guts Lord. Isn't this amazing? No, it is not amazing. Do you want some gameplay with the Gustload as well again? Like, definitely, most people should have already Gustload for the Great League. There was one available in quests. Very interesting Pokemon in the current meta. Can beat basically the Lantern completely. Can beat something like Noctowl. Is very decent in the general meta right now because people don't expect it. If you want some gameplay with this one, let me know in the comment section. Also, leave a like on the video. If we hit maybe 500 likes or whatever, I'm going to make a video about Gustload as well. But here we're going to see now the opponent having a shadow version of the Sableye. I think we like it should have maybe went into my Nocturne, I don't know. Uh, but we will be able to still go ahead and go for one charge move here. My opponent going to catch on their own lantern, which will allow us to go into our own lantern as well. They're going to run Spark, I'm going to run Spark, I can go for the oh, Thunderbolt here, and I'm going to make a huge mistake, I think, in this battle as well. Thunderbolt coming through, we're going to do some decent damage, and at this point of time, they have some extra energy lead, because they swapped out into it, and I should just go straight for the Surf here, and I'm not going to do this, and I'm going to lose CMP here, and I'm going to put the opponent into a range where I cannot even go for one charge move. But never mind, I'm still going to be able to go for my own Thunderbolt here in order to knock them out. I really thought they would knock me out with that. I can go ahead, go into my um, Knock Tower, and hopefully can catch the move here, and I do catch the move from the opponent's Sableye onto my Ninetales Power Gem, going to go to waste here, and I will be able to farm them all the way down as we're going to see a Skarmory coming in. This is going to be a very interesting matchup still. Like on paper, we are in such a disadvantage, but honestly, Noctowl is just very broken. I still have to go for one Sky Attack for sure here. I want to see if two Sky Attacks are enough, which does not seem to be the case. 
please don't knock me out. It's going to be a brave bird. Can I go for another sky attack? I do get to my next sky attack in time. The opponent's hospital damage, for whatever reason, didn't come through, which will allow me to farm them down here and actually still get the win at the end, which is wild. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks all for watching. The link to Petamine is, of course, in the description, as I'm always giving the link to the people that actually do the teams. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. On the left side, you see my recent video. On the right side, you see the top teams for the Open Great League. Hope you enjoyed this. Click on one of those, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.